Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Thirsty Thursdays just for you. I got another package from Japan from Paul, Critical Eats Japan. Check out his YouTube channel right here or in the description below. All right, Paul sent me these three Ramune, as they say. Uh, the ones I've tried are in glass bottles and they weren't like this kind of thing. And I don't think they're carbonated. They look like the kind of thing you want to shake up. For instance, this one is corn pottage. It says right on it, corn pottage. Yeah, I don't know that it's supposed to be soup. Drinkable soup. And I got a glass here, but I don't think we really need them. Uh, because you can see right through the bottle. So we'll just pass the glass off. Okay, uh, I believe you have to twist this off. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. And you're supposed to put that on top. You just push this down. Oh, there you go. Right. It's got a little cap. You can't seal it again. So once you've opened these, you got to drink it. I guess you pull that out. It's like a washer. Um, <laughs> what the hell is that? That's the weirdest smell. I, I can't even place that. Yeah, let's give it a shot. So it is carbonated. It tastes like corn pop. Corn pops. That's where they got the name from. So it is like corn soup made into a drink. And the little ball sits right here in the middle. Yeah, it tastes like I'm drinking corn pops. Carbonated. So maybe I won't shake the next one. I'm glad it didn't explode. Okay, this one is called Cream Stew Ramune. Let's give it a shot. Now that, oh, look at this. Oh, I missed it. So the, the plunger, it was still stuck in the lid. Again, I haven't done this in a long time. So there's like a plunger that you're supposed to use to help push the bottle down. You know, I think you take this off. Definitely. I think that seems to release it. And look, the ball came out and everything. So maybe you're not supposed to do that. Maybe it's supposed to stay on. I don't know. I didn't design it. It's falling apart. All right. Cream stew, Ramune. Cheers. That is the most weirdest thing you'd ever want to drink. Right there. Corn pops. It's like somebody, I guess all the, so far the two I've tried, it's like a, uh, just carbonated water that somebody spilt some of your food in and you just decided to drink it anyway and put a little bit of sugar in it too. So it is sweet, sweet cream stew, carbonated. It's a very light carbonation, not like Coke. Cream pop. All right. Thanks, Paul, for, for treating me to these very bizarre drinks. Let's see if we can do this one properly this time. So we're going to do that. Uh, this is supposed to go down through that. I, I'm thinking... I don't know if you're supposed to take that off. I think you're supposed to do this and then use that to help push down. There you go. But I don't want that in there. This one, I should have read it before. This is curry. Curry in a bottle. Tastes like curry and um, like coriander or it's not just curry. You know when you're walking into an Indian store 
and you get the smell of all the spices that they're that they have possibly out in bins or whatever that smell put into a bottle with carbonated soda water <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking the corn one's the best out of the three but i wouldn't buy any of them again the most bizarre flavors you could ever put in a soda pop I, I wouldn't buy them again so i guess that would be an indifferent some people might like them i would even go as far as saying uh it would be a would not recommend one of the rarest ratings on my channel that is a would not recommend or an indifferent for the people who possibly might like these but these are i think they're new flavors they're possibly trying them out excuse me that's how bad it was and they're going to find out if people like them or not and chances are these won't ever be on the shelf again i don't know maybe people in japan like drinking soup that's carbonated i like to thank paul again for sending me things from japan that i possibly would never ever have the chance of trying over here in canada let me know if you can get those in canada or the united states if you can don't buy them don't be ridiculous unless you want to try something crazy and weird and you have a youtube channel maybe I'd do it. If you love these videos, guys, please click the subscribe button. It's in the description below or somewhere on this page, I would imagine. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding and we'll see you next time on another Thirsty Thursdays. Thanks to Paul from Critical Eats Japan. Can't stomach out. Boop. Ramune. 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 Ramune, Ramune. Chances are the, the chan, chances are the description, but chances are, nah. I like to thank Paul once again for sending me these amazing. They're not amazing. Let's do that again. Bizarre.